come to us, pious Augustus. Us, pious Augustus. I don't sense a rhyming theme at all there. Yeah, that's right. Get ready to slay some freaks. Wow, slightly reminiscent of Stonehenge, only it doesn't look like Stonehenge at all, except for the fact that it's a circle of stones. Ooh. Fancy writing. What are you doing, Sir Pius? Oh crap! You have stepped into the Pentagon! Get ready to fight! Mortal, Mortal Kombat! Huh. Creepy. Are there any enemies for me to kill yet? Nope. Can I fall down? I'm gonna fall down. Okay, let's go down the ladder then. Yes, I gotta climb down the ladder. There's nothing else I can do. Pay no attention to the dead bodies. Whoa, loud. Ah, uh, now you can pay attention to the dead bodies. Yeah, as a strategy, always attack for the head first. Then they're blind and stupid, and it's funny. Ta-da! He can't see me. And that way, he's less of a threat. See? Now let's do a finishing blow. Interesting. Alright. Uh, don't touch me. You're dead. Wah, graphic. <laughs> A granite block lies on the floor. Let's take it. But it has an ancient rune on it, which may be useful. You are de-armed. You are unarmed. De-unarmed. D-N. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, but I gotta kill you anyways. It's my duty as a pious Augustus. Ta-da, I got that granite block. It's green! Now, where are we going? Oh, crud. Behind you, fool. Quick stab and you're dead. Now you fall down and die. Awesome. Three more to go. Oh, yeah. Like I said, cutting off the heads makes the fighting a whole lot easier in this game. Don't even have to worry about them killing you. Unless you get in their way when they're doing their weird, uh, randomly attack in the air attack. Randomly attack in the air attack! Go! Kamehame miss! Hi, Mr. Zombie! Beware the Ides of March. Didn't fall, Caesar. Uh, 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 uh. We have a door over there. And a locked door right there. Music is rather unsettling. A blue. A red. Then there's a green. And purple.
purple. But we do not yet have purple. But their purple is lying in the middle of the floor. Uh, wrong person. There we go. Yeah. Oh, crap. Just got hit. I know about the health meter. I win. Thank you. This is for taking away my health, fool. No, you don't actually have to do a finishing move to kill them, but it becomes important later on that you do a finishing move to just about everything you come across. I cut off the army I was about to attack me with. <laughs> Anybody else want a fun party? Hello? Dang dong! Alright, purple granite block. Got it. Now what? Use the blue one on the blue. Ta-da! Fancy. Yeah, high pitched swelling noises. I don't even know if you can hear that, but I can't. It hurts my ears. Okay, there's red. Here's green. And last, and definitely least, Poiple. Flashers. The purple one actually looks like a dragon head. I find that odd. Alright. Enough tomfoolery. Let's fool Tom. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think if you run around a lot in this game, you can't actually get tired. Which sucks. I hate that in games. It's us! Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying this statue. Yeah, and this teaches you how to target certain parts of the body, which I've been doing the entire time. Ta-da! Reminds me of the Street Fighter minigame. Oh, uh, crud. Pay attention to which way you're attacking, Pius, Augustus, Caesar. Yeah, that's right. Resident Evil, you don't get to use a sword. I wonder what they could come up with with a sword on Resident Evil. Well, on the Resident Evil games I've played so far, there haven't been a sword or something similar to that detail. Push the button, Pius. What does this button do? Whoa! Didn't self-destruct or anything, which is a lot better than what Dee does. Alright! Don't go into the light! Too late. Crap. Okay, now this is creepy. Uh... Blue, red, or green? An effigy resembling a warped angel, shaped from dark green emerald, hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. She claimed this artifact? Shaped like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. She claimed this artifact. A strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? Uh, let's go for Warped Angel. My first play, or my first three levels or whatever, I played with the blue artifact, I think. So I don't really know what difference it makes. Link! You must become a Kokiri, so you can annihilate the enemies. Uh, Pius, you don't look so good. Uh, dude, are you feeling okay? Do you have the flu? Did you get a haircut? 
Eons have passed since then. Okay. I have learned much. Alright. I was once as naive as a child. Whatever. But now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zelotar, I can now read the thoughts of others. Whoa. And make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. I think that's different. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Okay. I don't think that was the same one as the blue. Yes, the Tome of Eternal Darkness. We got it now. Okay. Detail. Chapter page. Yes. As far as I know, these are how you actually continue the storyline. 